Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So welcome to Unbox the Bruce and today we will be unboxing this item right here. So it's the SH Figure Arch Shinkocho Seho um, Kamen Rider Tadja Doll. So not sure if I pronounced everything right, but um, it says here Kamen Rider um, OOO, but it's supposed to be guys like O's <laughs> for those who are not familiar with the series. So it's Kamen Rider O's Tadja Doll Combo. So, um, yeah, before we uh, open the box, let's check, let's check out the box first. Now, um, hold on. So uh, on the front, um, you do see a very nice image of the figure here. Now that's actually one of the things that SH Figure Arts is known for, is that the pictures that you see on the box is actual um, toy or figure that they, they have. So we have like a very nice image right here and then some Japanese stuff that I can't understand. And on the left, um, we have the name of the character, Kamen Rider O's, um, Pagetal Combo, and on the back, you do see uh, more pictures of the figure and the different poses that we can do. And then, um, well, let me just put something aside, right? And then um, some Japanese stuff and then some authenticity sticker right there. And then, um, yeah. Um, and then on the uh, right, you got the same name, name the character. And then on the top it says SH Figure Arts with a little bit of dust and oil from my hands, I guess. And then <laughs> at the bottom it says SH Figure Arts. So let's go ahead and um, open the box. So uh, let me just find my cutter. Just give me a second. All right. So um, let me go ahead and cut this tape right here. Now we can also have the option of just peeling it off, but uh, I prefer to cut them. Yeah. Or hmm, maybe we should just peel it off. That it looks ugly though. It's like peeled off. So let me just uh, go ahead and cut it instead. Yeah. I guess we have to do the same thing. I don't think we can like pry this open um, without cutting the other side. So there you go. So now we've successfully cut the tapes and then for Sincocho. For this particular line of SH Figure Arts, um, for the box, actually, you just have to like remove the top, like a lid or something, like a cover. So you don't need to. It's not like the usual box where um, you open the top or certain sections. Now, I have like a very nice um, instruction manual right here, and uh, everything is Jap in, in, in uh, Japanese, so uh, I can't understand it. <laughs> Right, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty much straightforward. It tells you what you can do with uh, the figure. So yeah, we'll put this aside for now, and we'll just use it as reference in case um, we get confused with anything. Now, um, by the way, if you're new to the channel and if you like Kamen Rider stuff and other unboxing or unboxing figures, basically, don't forget to uh, click on that subscribe button to help us in like being a bigger or help us grow as a channel this year <laughs> so uh, yeah or if not just leave us a like so let's take out Tajato um, before I do like do that um, let me show you what comes in the box so we have like the three um, coins right here that you put in the belt but um, I apologize in advance I have no plans of like taking them out of their um, runners because I might lose them and that's gonna be a problem. And then here's his like scanner. Now I haven't totally watched the series yet, but I think this is like, no, this is like what he uses in his fist, an accessory. And then um, we have um, four pairs of extra hands. Uh, let me put it back. Sorry, I made the, this is actually the scanner. <laughs> I made a mistake. This is a scanner and this is like his weapon or something. Um, and then I think this is the back piece um, for you to be able to put his wings in. And we have like, of course, Tadjado here in all of his glory. 
and his redness. And then uh, let me put him there. Now, let me like open this up because usually the accessories are at the back. So uh, here are our, set, our accessories. So we have like the um, leg replacement parts. I think this is um, if you want to do that um, final or the finisher move that he has. So you can replace his um, leg right there or his legs right there with these pieces right here. And then um, of course you have like a very nice wings right there, which I will show you um, later. So then we have like nothing else. Um, let me put the box aside for now. All right. So like the usual SH figure arts, it does have like a plastic thingy that wraps around around his waist. I guess that's to protect him from like pain scuffs and all that. But you know, uh, since we've already opened the box, so let's just remove it. Now this is actually very easy to remove. You just have to uh, peel them off. Then, uh, oops, did I lose the chest piece? Okay, found it. Yeah. Oops, that's my food snack wrapper right there. Uh, yeah. Got a lot of bruises here on the chest piece. Now, one one good thing about this line um, is that you can actually part swap. Um, just saw like in one review that you can like interchange the parts like the head because the the thing with this particular Kamen Rider is that depending on the coins that he uses um, his form changes like um, like for example the head would have like a different color like yellow then the chest would be red and then the, the legs would be green so it depends on you on the to make if it depends on like how you want to mix and match so here is the figure so let me give you a closer look how awesome he is You can see it's very very nice. So let me try to zoom in. Alright. Oops. Let me show you the head. So this is one of the things that I like about um Kamen Riders is that um they have the compound eyes. Uh like the eyes you see there in the helmet so it adds more I don't know like zing to the character in my opinion so that's why I, I got hooked with this particular um, figure now we still have actually have like some plastic on his feet huh, I wonder how I can like, if I can peel it off easily hold on I guess I can. Do I have to pull it off? Nah, I don't. I don't really need to. I got one down, and this particular piece is just holding on to dear life. So there. There you go. Sorry if I'm doing this on camera. Um, but at least you know now how to like peel it off. So it's it's very easy. It's not like totally close. It's just like um, well, I'm saying it's totally easy, but I'm struggling a little bit to uh, have them removed. No, for this final piece, I'll just do it off camera. All right, so I got that um, removed finally. So here he is. Hmm. Not sure if he can stand on my uneven floor. So there we go. Yeah, apparently I can. <laughs> so I have to like get some rubbing alcohol. All right. So. 
let's see or let's check out the articulation. All right, so for the head, um, you can move it up like so. All right, so you can move it up like so, and we can move it down like so, and then like we can tilt it side to side for that more um, expressive pose. And then like we can rotate it of course. Now I'm trying to see if I can rotate it 360 but it, it seems to like lock in place here on this angle. So I don't really want to force it because I don't want to break anything. Now for the shoulders we don't have any, uh, we wouldn't have like any difficulty raising it up because the shoulder pads are attached to the bicep or the, oh sorry, the, the shoulders right here. And then um, we have like a a bicep cut right there so we have like a bicep swivel so we can like rotate that hmm, sorry keep on losing the focus on this all right and then um, for the arms it's double jointed so you know pretty much do it like that and you don't have any trouble doing so and of course you can like rotate it around and also we can like pull the arm down and up in case you want to have like some extra room for movement okay so for the back we don't really have like a lot of designs on the back but it's it's great piece um now for the torso we can like have move it back that much now let me give you a closer look Right. and then um, you can bend it forward that much and, uh, for the belt it's actually like not uh, molded together with the waist so you can like and that's a good thing um, you can like wiggle it around okay, so you wouldn't have any trouble doing that and then um, for the legs uh, there isn't really like a pull down method on this but you have like a lot of room for movement so you can see I can like kick, I can kick that far and then you can of course like move it forward like so and let me see so you can also move it back like so And um, for the knees, it's double jointed, so you can pretty much bend it back that much, and that's awesome. Um, for the feet, um, you can like move it around side to side like so, so that's good for articulation. Then we can like move it forward that much, raise it up that much. And then we have like a toe joint right there. Right. Now for some reason I actually am bothered by like the camera focusing on LDAP right there. So I'll just remove him from the frame for now. So that you know I think that my camera likes held that. So yeah. Sorry for the segue. Alright, so that's a very nice thing to have on this figure. Um, oh, for the hands, by the way, I have forgotten. You have like, um, you can like move it around like so. And you can rotate it as well. Okay, so you can move it side to side as well. So that gives you or allows you to um, post this figure in um, any expressive pose that you want. And get you out. So let me remove get you out as well. All right. Now let's try um, putting the accessories on. So let me um, put it there for now. Let's see. So these are domains. So it's protected by this film right here. So it's very um, generous of Bandai for doing so. Okay. Yeah, that 
it's nice. This is like a plastic thing. And I think we need to have the back piece. Right, so this is the back piece. And I think you can remove this part right here. Yeah, so you have, have actually have to do it from like this part, the shoulders. Sorry, you have to like do it from this part. And that's what I did. So I pried it open, open from here, so that is easier. Because you can't do it from the bottom, because it's like it fits really well. But if you do it from here, that makes it super easy. Alright, so for the wings, um, it has some articulation, so uh, it actually comes in, uh, or it's divided into three parts, I think. So is it like, supposed to be like that? I don't know, let's try to put it in. Does it have a label? Like if it's left or right? Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't really say if it's like left or right. So I'll just, I guess, put it in. Huh, I think this might be like the. Huh. Let's try it anyway. Oops. Sorry. Um, for those who are still watching, by the way, thank you for still. Um, sticking with or like watching this video. Now I think this is supposed to be for the other side because of how um, oops, how the uh, the peg is or the joint is. So it's supposed to be like pegged here. supposed to lock in place I think so it's really hard let me um, do it on off camera for now all right so I'm back so um, I figured it was actually easier to um, peg them in first before putting them on his back because um, that's easier to like snap in place um, Now try putting the back piece in. For some reason, I can't get it. Doesn't fit in my. Hold on. All right, so I'm back again. <laughs> Sorry, you have like the manual here because I was looking at the manual. Um, yeah. So actually, what I did is I tried to I removed the uh, I removed it from the initial setup that I had. So I removed the back the back cover, and then I tried to install the wings without the back cover. And uh, they seem to um, fit now. I think it was just a little bit tight. So after I inserted it, I like wiggled it a little bit, like so, <laughs> just to loosen up the, the the peg hole. But um, anyway, so I got the wings now on Tajado, and as you can see, he looks really, really great with it. So yeah. So let's try to open it up. And as you can see, he looks more awesome with um, his wing spread out like so. Alright, so now let's try um, one leg. Oops. Oh. I, that scared me a little bit because you know you don't want to break anything 
as much as possible. So you know, be careful with removing this with the wigs on, because you know this these are not really that thick of a plastic. It's made of a thin type of plastic, but I think it's sturdy enough. But if like it falls, I think from a high um, like distance, it might break. So for the legs, um, you don't really have like any label. If it's like the leg right one or the left one. So I guess we'll just try it out. So no, I have like a peg hole right there. I think we'll just insert it too. Where the knees go? Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Hmm. I might not. I'm not. I might not be right. So uh, I guess we'll have to. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, that works. So I really don't think. I really can't find any label on um, the feet but I think um, you just base it on like the empty area right here or like the gap hold on let me just put Tajato down so that you can see so on the knees there's like a, an angled gap right there so if it's on the um, right hand side and then this is for the um, right foot. Right foot if he's looking at you from his perspective, but it's on the left. So it's like for this leg right here. But I think you can figure it out on your own as well because um, it won't fit. I tried it, it doesn't really fit. So yeah, I think it's the same. No, it's not really the same with this other leg. And it has like an articulation where it looks like a claw thingy. Yeah, but you can't really fully close it. But it looks really nice as a gimmick. Alright, so put it back. Because I uh, don't have any plans. Oh, sorry. Move my camera a little bit right there. Uh, putting both legs up for now hmm. I don't forgot how it looked okay got it um, what else so for um, his weapon right here I actually have a peg hole on his um, left arm right here and uh, we can let me move it closer all right so you have a peg hole right there and you have um, like a ball joint right there that should fit in the hole oops like so Alright, I think you should uh, also use the right hand for it because this is where he grips the weapon. Yeah, but you don't use it. Uh, yeah, so, oh, by the way, before I forget, um, let's take a closer look at this piece. Uh, it actually looks very nice. It has that. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but that's that, like, there you go. The phoenix symbol right there is actually very nice. Very, that's a very nice touch. Um, so let's put that back. And, um, Right, finally, let's check out the scanner. Uh, I think this has a name, but I'm not 
really um, familiar with it. So I think you can just um, put it here on the side of his belt. Or yeah, you can just slide it in. And that should work. And we, you have like a, him doing his final or finisher move with just one leg. So I think he, he flies up, but then he swoops down and hits you with this double claw thingy. But um, in the series, I think he does it on both legs. So <laughs> right now, he's only he only has it on one leg. Yeah. So uh, now let's put this back. That's, oops. That's the second time I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> um, right, let's put back his swings, or sorry, his leg, his normal leg. And let's now just do a very quick size comparison for the final check. Um, So let's make sure that he stands straight, at least, or as straight as possible. So um, here he is next to um, Batman the Animated Series Red Hood. As you can see, he scales really well. So if you want to mix, like, mix and match, create like a, a battle arena with mixed characters, then he fits really well with that. And then here he is next to my dusty but still awesome DC Icons Batman. So the DC Icons Batman scales really well with the SH figure arts and I think it's just right because Batman is supposed to be like a big guy. Here he is next to a Kamen Rider Drive Type Wild. They're about the same size. I think most Kamen Riders are the same size. So um, I guess that's it for this unboxing and review. Thank you very much for watching this lengthy video. But I hope you enjoyed my bloopers and stuff in how I, I unbox stuff. But um, anyway, again, um, just a quick note, um, if you want to see more unboxing videos, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button below, or at least give us a uh, like, uh, using the like button below, sorry, I'm confused now, but just hit that like button, or better yet, subscribe if you're new, if you haven't subscribed yet, and uh, thank you for watching this video, stay safe, be kind, and you have a great day, bye!